Welcome everybody, it's me, that one guy from one place at that one time, Jgrim110, and welcome to day 129 of NHL 24 predicts the NHL season. Now yesterday we only had three games played, and we got all of them right besides the Edmonton and Minnesota games, so that puts our full total prediction at 463 and 439. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to our first game down in Detroit between the St. Louis Blues and the Detroit Red Wings. So see you all in Detroit. Oh, welcome to Little Caesars Arena in Detroit, Michigan, where we got our first battle of the day between the St. Louis Blues and the Detroit Red Wings. As we go down to center ice to get a face-off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 25 seconds up between St. Louis and Detroit, as both of these teams are tied at four as we get enough sides. So as we get a face-off, we're going to see if someone will break the tie, so we're going to stick to this action. As the puck keeps going in and out of the neutral zone. And here comes Thomas with Bushtovich takes a backhand shot and it's not in. Sherratt gets it for the Red Wings. They got 10 seconds to go before overtime. The Brinkett trying to find someone up. He gets around a couple of men. Larkin, one-timer blocked and we are going to overtime. Welcome to overtime between the Detroit Red Wings and the St. Louis Blues. With that, we'll see you all in the final seconds. Here comes Thomas Perianko. Back to Cairo who scores! And the Blues win in overtime! And with that, let's go to our next game. Down in New Jersey. <coughs> Between the Montreal Canadiens and the New Jersey Devils. So see you all in New Jersey. Welcome to Prudential Center, Newark, New Jersey. Where we got our next battle of the day. Between the Montreal Canadiens and the New Jersey Devils. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 25 seconds up between Montreal and New Jersey as the Canadians have a 4-1 lead against the Devils. So I'm going to say this game is pretty much out of hand for New Jersey. So we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in New York between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the New York Islanders. So see you all in New York. Welcome to UBS Arena in Elmont, New York. Where we got our next battle of the day between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the New York Ranger, or wow, New York Islanders. I am having a fit today. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between New York and Tampa Bay as the Islanders have a 3 to 2 lead against the Lightning. So let's see if Tampa Bay can tie this game up as we get a face off inside the Islanders zone. The face off won by New York. Romanov gets it to Lee, looking for that empty netter. He goes into the zone, gets it to Barzal, who shoots it, it's blocked up front. Holy cow, what a good defensive play by the Lightning. Hedman gets it to Kucherov, no offside. Stamkos goes in, shoots it, and Sorokin makes a good save. Face off inside the Islander zone. Puck is being poked around. Lightning have control, a shot in the worst area ever, which causes the Islanders to win. So with that, we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in Philadelphia. <coughs> Between the New York Rangers and the Philadelphia Flyers. So we'll see you all in Philly. Welcome to Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Where we got our next battle of the day. Between the New York Rangers and the Philadelphia Flyers. As we go down to Center Rice to get a face off between these two teams. We'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between New York and Philadelphia. As the Flyers have a 4-1 to one lead <coughs> excuse me, against the Rangers. And I'm going to say this is pretty much out of hand for New York here. So we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in Florida. Between the Washington Capitals and the Florida Panthers. So we'll see you all in Florida. Welcome to Merritt Bank Arena in Sunrise, Florida. Where we got our next battle of the day. Between the Washington Capitals and the Florida Panthers. Excuse me. As we go down to center rice to get a face off between these two teams. We'll see all of you. In the final moments of the game. Here we are with 20 seconds left between Washington and Philadelphia. As the Panthers have a 2-1 lead against the Capitals. And looking for number 3 here. But Kemper makes a save. Face off inside the Capitals zone. Won by Washington. Now let's see if the Capitals can tie this game here. As an empty net is called. Wilson dumps it around. Which is a bad call because there's nothing but Panthers there. A lot of battling and here comes the Panthers outside the zone. But it doesn't matter because the Panthers win this one. So with that, let's go on ahead and get to our next game down in Vancouver. Between the Boston Bruins and the Vancouver Canucks. So we'll see you all in Vancouver. 
Welcome to Rogers Arena in Vancouver, British Columbia, where we got our next battle of the day between the Boston Bruins and the Vancouver Canucks. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Vancouver and Boston as the Bruins have a 5 to 4 lead against the Canucks. So Vancouver's pulled their goalie, trying to tie the game here, but Boston's in control. Trying to get it to the empty net. Zaka gives it down. Pashanak goes for the empty netter. He misses it. Ronick picks it up for the Canucks. And here comes Vancouver. Kuzmenko gets a little bit pressured and loses the puck. Zaka trying to give it down. Gives it to Grizzlick to Famzreen Dyke. He's going for that empty netter. He shoots and he just misses it. But it doesn't matter because the game is over. And with that, we're going to go on to the next game down in Colorado. Between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Colorado Avalanche. So see you all in Denver. Welcome to Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado. Where we got our next battle of the day between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Colorado Avalanche. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Toronto and Colorado as both of these teams are tied at three. So of course we're gonna stick to this action until someone breaks the tie. It's Coglano gets held against the wall. Manson. Loses it. Get that to Johansson. Let's see if any team can break the tie before overtime. Johansson, let it in. Tries to go in and couldn't succeed in that. <coughs> Bertuzzi. Get it to Nylander. Trying to find someone open to the slide. He just takes a shot. Puck is rolling around and we're going to get a penalty. Bertuzzi will be caught for a tripping. And the Avalanche will go on the power play and will be going to overtime here as there's only a second left. Face off inside the Toronto Maple Leaf zone, and we will be going to overtime. Welcome to overtime between the Colorado Avalanche and the Toronto Maple Leafs. With that, we'll see you all in the final seconds. Still in control. Riley passes it to Marner. He shoots and scores! And the Toronto Maple Leafs win this game in overtime. <coughs> and with that, we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in Ottawa between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Ottawa Senators. So see you all in Ottawa. Welcome to Canadian Tire Center, Canada, Ontario, where we got our next battle of the day between the Ottawa Senators and the Vegas Golden Knights. As they go down to center right, they got a face off between these two teams. We'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Ottawa and Vegas as the Senators have a four to two lead against the Knights. So let's see if Vegas can somehow come back at the score by Stephenson. It's now 3-4 Ottawa. So let's see if Vegas can come back and tie it. So with 21 seconds to go. Face off inside the neutral zone. Won by Vegas. Martinez goes into the zone. Loses possession for a little bit. Regains it. Passes it down and Sanderson stops that pass. Kachuk gets hit. Puck is rolling against the wall. And a penalty will be called. The Senators will go with a power play. And that might have just cost the Knights the tying goal. Face off inside the Knights zone with 10 seconds to go. Puck down one by the Senators. Slap shot wide of the net. It broke some glass. But I'm going to say this is not enough for the Knights to rush down and tie the game. So we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in Carolina. Between the Dallas Stars and the Carolina Hurricanes. So see you all in Raleigh. Welcome to PNC Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina. Where we got our next battle of the day between the Dallas Stars and the Carolina Hurricanes. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Dallas and Carolina. Face off down, and we're going to see if Dallas can tie this game here as they're in control, trying to get shots onto the net. Heiskanen takes a shot at the top of the net. Looks like it was deflected upwards. Carolina's in control, looking to go out of their zone, which they do succeed, and they're still in control. Goes for the empty netter, but misses the net. Harley has it. Bings it down to Heiskanen. He gets hit. Robertson has it. Jasses it down, takes a shot, it's not in, and this game is over. And so with that, we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in San Jose. To the Nashville Predators and the San Jose Sharks. So see you all. In San Jose. Welcome to SAP Center at San Jose in San Jose, California. Where we got our next battle of the day between the Nashville Predators and the San Jose Sharks. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you 
in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Nashville and San Jose. As both of these teams are tied at three. So, of course, we're going to stick to this action until someone breaks the tie. <coughs> Excuse me. A delayed penalty. The Sharks will go on the power play. Eklund trying to pass and it's finally touched up. 11 seconds to go. Face off inside the Predator zone. And the Sharks are on the power play. But the Predators win the face off. And here comes Smith. Could they get a shorthand or they win the game? They're looking for it, but it's defensively cracking. Broken up, a shot on goal, but we're going to overtime. Welcome to overtime between San Jose and Nashville. With that, we'll see you all in the final seconds. A goal here will tie it. A save will continue on. Quarter, trying to keep the Sharks alive. Couldn't get it in, and the Predators win in the shootout. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get to our next game down in Edmonton between the Calgary Flames and the Edmonton Oilers. So see you all in Edmonton with that gritty. Welcome to Rogers Place in Edmonton, Alberta, where we got our next battle of the day between the Calgary Flames and the Edmonton Oilers. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Calgary and Edmonton as the Oilers have a 5-1 lead and this game is out of hand for Calgary. I'm sorry, it's, it's already over, especially with Edmonton with the possession. So with that, we're going to go on ahead and get to our next game down in Seattle between the Minnesota Wild and the Seattle Kraken. So we'll see you all in Seattle. Welcome to Clement Pledge Arena in Seattle, Washington between the Minnesota Wild and the Seattle Kraken. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Excuse me. Here we are with 30 seconds up between Minnesota and Seattle. So with the face-off down, we're going to see if Minnesota can tie this game as Decor makes another save. Face-off, won by the Kraken. Gives it down to Tatar, to McCann. Trying to get out of the zone, and they do succeed. Everly goes for the empty netter, but misses high. Faber with 10 seconds to go. Rossi goes into the zone, trying to find someone open. <coughs> Larson steals it, and they're going to run the timeout. And with that, this game is over. So with that, we're going to go on ahead and get to our last game of the day down in Los Angeles between the Anaheim Ducks and the Los Angeles Kings. So see you all in LA. Welcome to Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles, California, where we got our final game of the day between the Anaheim Ducks and the Los Angeles Kings. As we go down to center ice to get a face off between these two teams, we'll see all of you in the final moments of the game. Here we are with 30 seconds left between Los Angeles and Anaheim. As the Kings have a 6-2 lead against the Ducks. And this game is out of hand for Anaheim. So with that, that is it for today. Check back in tomorrow to see if these predictions are right. And with that, it's me, that one guy from one place at that one time, Jaguar110. And I will see all of you tomorrow.